This is a demonstration of the RC circuit, a circuit with a resistor and a capacitor in it, and also a demonstration of the energy of a capacitor. What I have here are two circuits. The one that's closest to you is this circuit here with two capacitors. The blue ring here indicates a one farad capacitor and this other blue ring is the other capacitor. And as you can see, the current is gonna pass into this capacitor, out of that capacitor, into this second capacitor, and then on throughout the circuit. So that's this series circuit here. I have a 15 volt source. I have two one farad capacitors, very powerful. I'm gonna to have to be careful about where I touch here. Current through the first, current through the second. I've got a switch here that controls when I begin to allow the current to pass through those capacitors. I also have here a, uh, a circuit in which the two capacitors are in parallel. So the effective configuration is up here that the voltage source, which is this guy right here, passes, uh, splits into two pieces, one that goes through the first capacitor and one that goes through the second capacitor. So the voltages across these two capacitors are going to be the same at all times. And what we've done in class is to understand how what the equivalent capacitance would be. For this parallel circuit, the two capacitors are in parallel with each other, actually add together to form one uh, effective capacitor that's two farads. As opposed to two capacitors that are in series, which uh, you have to add up one over this capacitance plus one over that capacitance equals one over the equivalent capacitance, which gives you an equivalent capacitance of one half a farad. One over one plus one over one equals one over the equivalent capacitance. One plus one is two, one over that is a half. So the equivalent capacitance here is less for the series than it is for the parallel. And the other piece that we're gonna be able to see here, and it, this pertains to the, to the lab for the RC circuit, and that is the energy stored in a capacitor. The energy is one half times the capacitance times the voltage squared. So for, for this circuit, the series circuit, the capacitance is half a farad that we put in here for the energy. As opposed for the parallel circuit, you have a two farad capacitor, you'll have a lot more energy stored in this parallel circuit. And the time constant. And this governs how long it takes to charge these capacitor these capacitors up to their maximum potential. That goes like the resistance in the circuit, whatever that resistance turns out to be for this particular circuit, which is the same for both circuits, times the capacitance. So not only will the energy stored in this parallel circuit be larger than in the series circuit, but also the time constant. It will take longer for them to charge up because this time constant is proportional to the capacitance. So let's do series first. So what I'm gonna do is to press the switch to begin charging up these two capacitors. And what you'll be able to see through the side camera is this um, needle which measures the current in the circuit as it is charging up. When I first press the, the switch here, you'll see this needle go all the way to the right and get pegged on the right. But then after a short amount of time, it will leave that pegged position and slowly go down until these capacitors are, are fully charged. And what I'll do is during that charging um, time, I'll count how long it takes to charge it up, which would be an indication of the time constant here. Zero, one, two, maybe about three seconds. Now I release this switch and allow 
these capacitors to discharge through this resistor. Zero, one, two, three, four, four or five seconds or so to discharge all of that charge from the capacitors through this resistor, which is a light bulb. Now doing it with the parallel, we expect uh, a lot more from the parallel circuit. We've got a larger capacitance. It's actually four times larger than what we had for the series. So we'll expect four times the energy and four times the amount of time required to charge and discharge. So I'll press this switch and you'll watch that needle go up. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe about twelve seconds. Then releasing it, we'll count how long it takes. And notice how bright the bulb is compared to the other bulb. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23. So we're about out of, of energy by now. So this parallel, parallel circuit carries more energy, stores more energy in the capacitors that are synced up in parallel compared with series. And the time constant is longer.